Hello everybody, it is Ellen again and this is another episode of Bariana Budget. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are making specialty cocktails found far and wide across the internet and we are making them only with what we have in our kitchen. So again, for today's episode, much like the first episode, I put everything that I had in my kitchen into a search bar um, in this like website that formulates what cocktails you can make. And then I picked three off of that site for today. Um, I usually pick drinks based off of how funny I find their names, how entertaining I find their names, how outlandish I find their names. So do not be offended or shocked by any of the names <laughs> of the drinks that I have chosen. So without further ado, let's get going into today. drink one of the day is called the bartender's wet dream um i'm gonna give you guys a little spoiler i live with a bartender an ex-bartender and this this is just not it this is not what he is wet dreaming about this drink is so disgusting i literally i'm not even going to be able to taste it so let's address the issues with this drink first of all when I looked at the recipe, I hadn't realized that half of, no more, three quarters of the ingredients, of which there are only four, um, are measured in centiliters. I have just got no gauge for that. I have no idea. And when any, whenever a recipe just says like parts or ounce or whatever, I just, oh, one shot, you know, whatever, no big deal. Yeah, this is in centiliters and I do not know what that amounts to. So I just kind of like splashed everything in because it's supposed to be a shot. And then it's supposed to have like a ton of whipped cream on the top. And I love with whipped cream. Um, I chose the drink just based off of name because I thought it would be funny. The centiliters threw me a little bit, but not enough to deter me entirely. So I thought, okay, whatever. Uh, then I started reading the ingredients and they seemed really, really weird. Um, it is a centiliter of coffee liqueur, a centiliter of grenadine syrup, a centiliter of Irish cream, and then an ounce and a half of whipped cream. So those things just do not sound even remotely like they're supposed to go together. Um, and that really threw me as well. But I was like, okay, well, no, I'm sure they know what they're talking. No. No. They have no idea what they're talking about. This drink is so disgusting. Um, I, so I dumped everything in. The, re the recipe just said, like, basically just dump everything into a shot glass and then top it with whipped cream and you're good to go. Um, so I mixed it up because it looked pretty gross honestly so i mixed it just to see if you know maybe it'd like look a little bit better maybe a little bit more appetizing um they got this really ugly like really gross color and as you can see there's like little bits like floating in it that is because the i don't know if it's the irish cream or what it is but something in that drink curdled immediately i did not realize that was going to happen um otherwise maybe i would have tried to drink it faster i i don't honestly don't even know what i would have done if I had that information, I might've just skipped the drink entirely, but moral of the story, I'm not going to drink this drink. I think it sounds absolutely disgusting. I think it looks absolutely disgusting. And I think that if I tried to actually swallow the texture of curdled alcohol, I would probably throw up. That sounds so disgusting and it looks gross. I'm really coming into this drink with the wrong attitude, I know. So some people Maybe you want to try it. Maybe your thing is that like you like to try drinks that should be really gross and then finding out if they're gross or not. That is not my thing. I like to drink drinks that taste good. So I'm going to skip on this one. Um, the bartender's wet dream is going to get a zero out of 10 for me. Would not recommend trying. Would not recommend ugh, even thinking about it. Let's put this out of mind. Let's just move on to drink two. Let's go.
All right, so we're having a rather unlucky day for drinks, and that's really just how it's gonna be sometimes, but I think I found my problem. I think that my Irish cream has gone bad. I wish that I could show you what this looks like, but the Irish cream has really just like curdled and separated like into these clumps that are just floating in the rest of the drink. The, oh, you can just see, this is what has happened. So this is not something that I want to put in my mouth um, in particular, although the purple color that it came out to be was really, really pretty. By the way, this drink is called Bloody Smurf Jizz. Um, again, I picked it because I thought the name was funny and I was very curious what that could possibly look like. And it's supposed to look a lot different because there are some things that you're supposed to float and layer on whatever. But like I said, I dump it all in a glass and then I mix it up because that's the way I'm going to drink it. So... Maybe that's why my Irish cream is doing this horrible, disgusting, yucky thing where it's separating and floating around in clumps um, in the rest of the drink, but it looks absolutely repulsive. The purple color turned out to be really, really pretty because of the blue and then the grenadine. And then I am so excited about this drink because it's finally a drink that doesn't use milk as the mixer. I have Sprite and Sprite is one of my listed ingredients and believe it or not, the milk is more popular of a mixer than the Sprite is. And the milk drinks have been nice. I am not go ever going to complain about milk. I've got some very strong bones. However, I was really excited to finally be mixing a drink with a normal mixer that it would be more likely that people who know that they're going to be drinking would stock up on than milk. So I'm not, I'm not going to try this drink because, again, my, my curdled Irish cream makes me feel very queasy. It looks really, really gross. You, I'm having so much fun just, like, looking at it and, like, swirling it around it's like a galaxy in there a, a disgusting purple curdled galaxy so we're gonna have to pass on that one again it's gonna be a no for me for the purples or for the bloody smurf cum or whatever it's called um chiz <laughs> i'm sorry my mistake um so unfortunately we're just gonna have to move right on to drink three because this this definitely ain't it Thank goodness, finally, we have got drink number three out of three that did not curdle on alcoholic impact. That rocks. Um, a little update for the first two drinks. They are starting to layer themselves, and it looks really nasty. Who would have thought that Sprite would sink to the bottom? Honestly, not me. But anyway, here we go with drink number three. This is Pink Squirrel number two. Um, I'm satisfied with how it looks. It's a little bit dark for me for pink. I would have liked to see more of a pastel, but of course you can just add more milk. And of course, this drink recipe used milk as a mixer again. So we have another dairy riddled cocktail. Not a lot of people love that. I don't mind it, but I'm lucky in that regard and that some people are just unfortunately not very compatible with dairy. So we've got pink squirrel number two. Most of it is milk. Um, part of it is grenadine, and then just a teeny little bit is a um, chocolate liqueur. So this has little to no alcohol in it, which is kind of disappointing to see. Um, I definitely like stronger cocktails, and this is just kind of really, really weak, really, really light, and it's also filled with milk. So not something that I would really want to drink out on a night out anyway, but let's see how it tastes. I don't hate it. I don't I don't really love it though. I don't think that it's very good. The grenadine is just it's very very syrupy and you can really get that flavor. So honestly, I think it would taste really really good if you threw in like 
a scoop of like vanilla ice cream and blended it up into like a little milkshake or something. I think that that would be really good. I think it has a lot of potential, but unfortunately there is almost no booze in it and it tastes really syrupy to me. And it also has a ton of dairy and not a lot of people like dairy. So this is not something that I would really, you know, normalize. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to rate this one maybe a four, four or five, um, just because it is pretty. It's definitely pink. The name is fun, Pink Squirrels. I do love that, um, but the flavor, it's really too much for me. It's a little bit medicine-esque, almost like cough syrup with the, with the cherry flavor. And it really coats your throat too. So, didn't love it. I didn't hate it though. Definitely a very unlucky day for drinks since two of my drinks curdled in the most disgusting, horrible way ever. And the last one um, had literally no booze in it. So, um, Sometimes it's just gonna be like that. Sometimes you're gonna get stuck with crappy drinks and that's just gonna be the way that it is. Sometimes you can look for potential. I'm definitely looking for no potential in my curl drinks, but I would definitely add more booze and ice cream to my pink squirrel number two. So this has been a day on Barring on a Budget. My name is Ellen, your spirit guide, and you have seen three unfortunate failure drinks today, but that's okay. Please like, comment, subscribe interact with this video you would be doing me a huge favor i would really really appreciate it and i will keep the drink content coming to you but until that point in time ladies and gentlemen stay drunk